and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are just going to reassess my palette so join me today as we go through some of the colors that i have in my palette and also some of the colors that i am thinking of adding so this is the swatch card that i have been looking for for a very long time it got lost and then i just suddenly found it again it's also the reason why I couldn't change some of the colors because I've forgotten the names of the colors. So now is a great time to reassess my palette. So this is more of um, like swatching some colors and just looking at the colors in this swatch one by one, checking out which one I want or which one I don't really use that much anymore so that I can replace it with something else so I hope it's not gonna be that boring for you guys and that you will enjoy this video as well so okay let's start all right so this is the Shein Han PWC this is the brand so they come in tubes and I got a set of 32 it's this uh, colors here these are from the set of 32 except for I think except for these two colors these two I just added so um, let's go through some of the colors so this is permanent yellow light I use that a lot and then these two are um, almost the same color but I think I'm gonna retain them and then I also like permanent yellow deep and then this is a nice red orange color vermilion hue then of course you need a basic uh, red so i use permanent red rose mother i don't use it as much but maybe i will retain that and of course my favorite color is permanent rose um next crimson lake is a nice kind of a nice deeper pinkish red color and then next we have opera so for opera, I used to like this color, but I'm not sure if I still want to add that in my palette. Maybe I'm going to take this one out and replace it with something else. And then permanent green number one. So I don't really use this color. It's too bright, but I think I think there's a potential for it for some, of, um, for some floral arrangements. I'm not so sure yet, but for now... I'm thinking of taking it out of my palette next we have greenish yellow so this is a beautiful color I think in other colors they call it green gold so they might be similar then you have olive green and then sap green is my favorite hooker's green is also nice then I will retain this um, you have yellow ochre raw umber and burnt sienna and then so we have light red it's actually a nice color maybe we can swatch it okay let's try light red it's actually a nice um rich brown color and then let's compare it with the burnt sienna okay so burnt sienna is definitely lighter And then, of course, we have burnt umber, Van Dyke brown. Um, let's try to swatch this. I don't think I've used this in a while. So I'm just gonna grab some color. Okay, so why is it green? <laughs> I might have put some green color. Let me just clean it up. And you're gonna dab, dab it with some tissue. it's still a little bit green okay all right i'm gonna dab it one last time hopefully we got all the greens out okay so it looks a bit similar to sepia Okay, let's try sepia. So, if they look slightly similar, I'm thinking of 
taking it out for now okay so you can see that you have more brown in the Van Dyke brown um, the sepia seems like a deeper color but I feel like I'm gonna retain sepia and maybe let go of Van Dyke brown for now and then for light red light red is actually beautiful but let's compare that to brown red right here so brown red is a really nice color but not a lot of people have this color I'm gonna put it right beside light red so it has a um, more of a reddish tone for me you can see the difference okay so this is like a happier brown color and very rich but this one has a reddish brown color and uh, this color is really so nice to add to reds and pinks I really love adding that to tone down the color you can also add this to your greens so I really love this it's just that um, I don't use it so much for tutorials again because not a lot of people have this color but I guess I can um, start using it for YouTube right so let's see the other colors so I have indigo which I really love and then we have let me swatch um, the blues here I don't really always use blue um, except for cerulean blue and indigo so this is Prussian blue this is also a nice color I think I use this for a fall florals class on Skillshare where I added some blue to some rich autumn colors like this so this is a beautiful rich blue color so it looks really good with some autumn colors very nice next i have a cobalt blue hue um, let me compare that with cerulean blue because they look just slightly similar to each other okay so sometimes i get confused with the blue colors because i don't use them as much they sometimes look similar to me so I think I need to use them some more okay so right here they actually look the same to me but let's, let's add some water and observe what will happen okay so once we add the water definitely they don't look similar so maybe on camera it's not registering the right color but in person this is definitely a happier blue color it's very nice i guess if you use it for sky painting it would be nice all right so i also have um, peacock blue which i don't really use as much i have forgotten that color i think i avoided this color because i can't remember the color because i lost my swatch card and I think I did not write the names on the half pants. So next time I will write the names on the half pants. Okay, let's swatch this. So it's actually a beautiful color as well, but I don't know why it looks similar to cerulean blue a little bit it's just slightly lighter i think all right so hmm, maybe i might take out peacock blue i'm not so sure yet but um the it looks a bit similar to cerulean blue so i might go with cerulean blue instead and then next oh let's check out ultramarine deep so i like using this color as well let's just clean the top because i actually mix this with burnt umber to create a grayish color so 
sometimes the top is like contaminated with another color okay okay so this ultramarine blue is really nice for florals i really love the color okay Okay, so now that I added the ultramarine blue, I can now see a little bit of difference between cerulean blue and peacock blue. I think um, from my perspective, peacock blue has a little bit of green, um, but I'm not so sure. And cerulean blue has more blue in it. And then, okay, so you can see ultramarine deep has this granulating effect, which is fine by me but some people don't like that granulating effect all right so next let's see um i have lemon yellow and viridian pew so i'm not sure why they are here but i don't really use them so i don't like viridian green because it's just so hard to reactivate it I don't know if it's like this for all brands but it gets really hard when you squeeze it in a half pan it's difficult to reactivate okay so it's supposed to be a vibrant green but maybe because I haven't really used this for some time it doesn't look that nice So maybe I'm gonna take this one out of my palette since I don't use it. Okay, so I'm also gonna take out the lemon yellow um, because the tube that I had before um, the colors have separated or I don't know what you call it the pigment have separated from like the oil <laughs> or maybe it's the binder um, and so whenever I squeeze it out it looks kind of weird and even if I try to mix it, I mean the color is not that great. So I think it's also one of the reasons why I did not use it. So I'm gonna take that one out too. Okay, so for the last two, it's brilliant pink. So you can see this nice pastel pink color. That's really beautiful, but um, just in case you're using it, please note that this one has some white in it. So it becomes a little bit opaque when you use it in your painting next i have bright rose so this is a beautiful pink color as well it's a single pigment color so this is really nice for florals so i'm going to retain these two all right so i think i'm going to take out about seven colors from this palette and i'm going to replace it with some of the colors here so I actually haven't swatched some of the colors here because they're new. But definitely I want to add lilac. This is really nice for florals. I also will be adding lavender. And then um, mineral violet is actually nice. Let me show you guys permanent violet first. Let's just swatch it here. This is permanent violet. And then let's put mineral violet. Okay, so this is mineral violet. And then I have another one here. So I'm still choosing which one to add. This is bright violet. Oh, it's a nice neon-ish violet. It's actually good. Huh. Okay, and then I have ultramarine violet. So let's try this one out. This is actually new in my stash. Alright, so this is ultramarine violet. So 
not sure why but it looks a bit milky and I was expecting it to be like brighter or I'm not sure if it's just the paper okay so I'm still deciding which violet to add in my palette what do you guys think anyway let's move on um, definitely I want Payne's Gray so I like Payne's Gray Verditor Blue is a nice color I'm still thinking about it um, I also want to add some shadow green this is a nice dark green color I think it's similar to Perilyn Green and other brands and then um, I'm thinking if I want to add shell pink this is also a beautiful pastel color so nice so I'm just gonna put it here and just think about it and then oh I think we can swatch this so I can show you guys this color okay so when you have a new tube it should look like this okay okay unfortunately we have a huge chunk of paint come out um, just gonna put it here it's a waste of paint okay just gonna cover it all right let's just watch this this is phthalo green dark just have a scrap paper here okay oh it's a nice color let's compare it with shadow green I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit okay all right so you can see this is it looks like a green with some black in it it's nice um, this one is quite rich it it's like a toned down um, version of Hooker's Green for me. Let me see Hooker's Green. Hooker's Green is like brighter. So it's, I don't know, maybe it's a toned down version. Um, this is the pigment information. I'm not really um, that knowledgeable in like pigment information. But I'm just showing you guys. And then... Let's check out the other paints. Alright, so this is Royal Blue. Let's just try to swatch it. I'm thinking of getting another rich blue color for my palette. Oh, so this is really nice. I think I'm gonna add this to my palette. It's a beautiful vibrant blue color all right so i think i have two reds here that i want to show you guys so this is the quinacridone red and then one more is this spiral red this might be like a new color and then I'm just gonna swatch this is quinacridone red, and then you have pyro red. Oh, quinacridone red is so nice. So I'm using a different scrap paper. This looks good. Okay, so now it's difficult to decide which color to add. Wow, pyro red is like really nice too. Let me get the permanent red. I compare it mm. it's, it looks a bit similar to me or maybe pyro red has slightly more orangey color but they look similar anyway so I'm just really swatching this um, I don't know how this color re will react to other colors so this is me just comparing the colors right um, out from the tube and so what's the next color 
I have Naples yellow. So I think this is the last color that I'm gonna show you guys. This is an old tube that I have. Oh, so this one has like a pastel-ish color. Oh, so this is nice. But you can also achieve this color with like um, white and a little bit of yellow from your palette. But you can try to thin it out and like it will look really nice to add to your florals. Alright, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it wasn't that boring for you guys watching these colors. But I actually had fun comparing some of the colors here and just reassessing my palette again because I haven't really um, done this in a while and I feel like I need I kind of need a fresh start for the year so this is just a really good time and I'm gonna think about the colors more and when I have finalized it I will definitely do another video okay so thank you again for watching I'll see you in the next video bye